Hi guys, how is everyone doing? We are sitting down today and filming another video. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I like watching these because you get a really good idea of what people actually fully use. So we're doing a product empties and also a bad bin. So like products that I tried, I really tried to like, but they just, no, no, no. So this whole bin is very, very full and a lot of it's empty. A lot of it is stuff that like is just, no. So we're going to go through it and I'm going to tell you all the deets about if I would repurchase it, why it went in the bad bin and yeah, stuff like that. As always, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so that you have a chance to enter in the massive giveaway that I'm going to be doing once we hit 5,000 subscribers on this channel. Uh, yeah. Let's get right into it. <laughs> so this is literally just like a drawer that I have in this like little collapsible uh, bucket that goes underneath my beauty desk and it's full. It's getting to the point where like it's hard to shut. So I'm gonna go through and clean out some things and I do just wanna disclaim that just because a project a product didn't work for me it doesn't mean that it won't work for you everybody's skin is different and so some things just don't work for some people that are other people's favorites like I'm not hating on you if you like this so please don't hate on me just because it didn't work and also this is not a send to entire brands so just because I don't like one thing uh, as a part of a brand does not mean I hate the entire brand that is so not true for almost all these products like everything that's in here i have another product from that brand that i'm like obsessed with so just a couple disclaimers to keep in mind and that's that let's start with some empties of things that i did like this first is like mm, chef's kiss this is my holy grail if i could be if i had to like lock in one item in my beauty routine, skincare, makeup, everything that I used for the rest of my life and I couldn't try anything else, it would be this happily. I would not have any problems with that. This is the Bosque Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil and it is so friggin' good. Um, this stuff, first off, lasts you forever. It's like an oily cleanser that you can use all over your face. You can use it on your eyes and it um once you add water it sort of gets milky it just does such a good job cleaning your face and i've had i don't know i've probably been using this for like three three or four years i don't know i think i use this all throughout college does that mean i'm on like year five of using this holy crap uh anyway <laughs> i really like this i already have another bottle i actually am getting close to needing to repurchase another bottle so yeah this is good. I really like it. Another empty. This is a conditioner. This is by the brand OGX. This is their Coconut Miracle Oil Conditioner. I use this all up. If you guys like the scent of coconut, you're gonna love this. OGX is really good. It's like an affordable but natural hair care brand. They are sulfate free and all of that good stuff. This is this is coconut and vanilla combined into a scent. So like, what's what's not to like? Oh, yes, I can still smell it. Completely empty, but the scent's still in there. This is really good. I haven't repurchased it because I'm trying another conditioner, but I would go back to this. Like, I would repurchase this. I like it. This is a random one, but I have two in here. <laughs> this is my deodorant. <laughs> This is the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime Natural Deodorant. Uh, so a couple years ago, maybe like three years ago, I made the switch to all natural deodorant and I will say it is a process switching. Uh, it takes some time and I would recommend doing it like in the summer when you're gonna be outside a lot and just like who cares cause you're outside cause you're gonna smell for a bit. But it wasn't really bad and now that I've gone through that it was maybe like a month of it being weird. Everything's totally fine. I've gone through like 10 tubes of this. I love this scent and I feel better about using an all natural deodorant and I have no problems. Like I don't, it doesn't make me sweaty, doesn't make me smell like is perfect so 
highly, highly recommend that. Let's, oh, another thing. Some products in here are not necessarily empty or bad, but they are expired. So I try to regularly clean out my collection and just like make sure that I'm not keeping anything that if I put on my skin, it's like, oh, that's like four years old, gross. So <laughs> this is one of those things. This is the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir. This is basically like a glowy brightening serum, which we all know I have too many of these anyway. And I realized it is not the same color as when I bought it. It's definitely turning a little bit brown. It's it, it like, when you first get it, it's like this really beautiful like minty iridescent green and like mine is definitely a little more on like the vomit color side. So yeah, I was like, oh, hmm, huh. Maybe it's time to get rid of this. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately I did not finish this you are technically allowed to have this. The expiration date is two years, but I've, d I've definitely had it for longer than two years. So she had to go, but I did really like this. I would repurchase. I liked it, but I d don't need another glowy serum. So this video is just, this is for the people that love like rambly videos because this is not like gonna be a short video. That's all right. Oh, let's talk about some things that just like did not work. First is this from Physicians Formula. This is their Rose All Day Set and Glow. And I just, like you guys, I did a video where I tried out a bunch of new Physicians Formula makeup. And this smells, it's not an overpowering rose scent. It actually kind of smells like rose. Like they made it bright so that it kind of smells like fizzy. I don't know though I didn't really like this like it just didn't do anything it's like a iridescent loose powder or not a loose powder it's a pressed powder but like nothing comes off even when you rub it and then <laughs> well I didn't like it but I mean like I didn't need to throw it <laughs> Anyway, and I tried to use this like a balmy side as a highlight and it just didn't really work either like it moved my makeup It didn't set well and I just like I Didn't want to keep this in my collection because I knew I wouldn't reach for it. It's just like not good enough, you know Another thing This from honest this is their everything primer glow and I know a lot of people like this. It's an all-natural glowy primer, um, but for me, it uh, it comes out a little bit dark, like it's got like mica in it to make it shine, but it makes it a little dark for my skin tone, and it kind of smells metallic, like it smells kind of weird, and like the scent kind of lingers. I don't mind natural products, and I don't mind unscented products. I actually prefer natural scented products, like just whatever they smell like, they smell like, right? This one is too much because it lingers. But this is a prime example of just because I don't like this doesn't mean I hate the entire brand because y'all know I love a ton of the Honest makeup. Like their eyeshadow palette, their mascara. Ugh, it's also good, their cream blushes. Don't get me started. Okay, let's continue. Okay, these are just some more like Ew, these are old, they need to go. And that is two makeup sponges. This is actually the Urban Decay double like sided sponge where it had like the silicone and the one side. And I reviewed this before I had a YouTube channel but on my Instagram. And uh, I liked this, like I used it for a while but it just started getting really hard to clean. And I've had it forever. And I try to change sponges kind of frequently because I don't want bacteria to get trapped in them. I don't use them once and get rid of them, but I use it for a little while and then it's time to go. Same with this beauty blender. This is a like a, actually a legit beauty blender, but it is months, months and months old. And so I just, yeah, I've been using the Eagle Tool sponge and I've been really liking that. And so that's kind of like, when I decide I want to try another sponge, that's kind of when I decide it's time to get rid of the other one. Okay, 
This is another empty, and this is really good. This is the Morphe setting spray, but this is the one that's collabed with Jeffree Star. This smelled like strawberries. It was a little bit on the like fake artificial candy side, uh, but if you like sweet scents, you'll like it. It's not bad, it's not overpowering, it doesn't linger, so I can handle that. This is such a good setting spray. Like, I want to order their regular kind. And I actually saw that recently they have a collab with Saweetie, I think it is. And she made like a peach scented one. I really want that. But this is great. I highly recommend this Morphe setting spray. If your makeup is looking weird and you're just like, oh gosh, I don't know what to do. Put on this setting spray and it will transform it. It's so good. Okay, a setting spray that is not as good. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I just mostly, I just really didn't reach for this and it's a little too oily. Like it's, it's glowy because it's got like oil in it and I just found like it was sitting weird on my face. So I'm not a big fan of that one. I, it went in the bad bin slash just like I'm over you kind of bin. This is another product that was just too old. I got this from TJ Maxx a while ago because I was like, yes, collagen firming beauty cream. Heck yeah, I want to try that. And this was before I was doing really good on my skincare routine. And I was like, you know, on top of things. I just never used this and it expired. Continuing on to moisturizers with moisturizers. This is one that I tried and I was like, oh, I don't know, like I kind of like it. Um, then I realized it was breaking me out, actually. This is the Charlotte Til Tilbury Magic Cream. And you guys can see like, I used almost all of this and it, it wasn't until the end that I really realized it was breaking me out and that kind of stunk. I liked this, I was using it a lot. Um, it was like my night cream. I'm kind of happy it broke me out though because it's kind of expensive so now I don't have to buy it, you know what I mean? Let's talk about some bad makeup and I'm sorry dad but both of these were picked out by my father. If you haven't seen the video where I did my dad picks my makeup, we did that uh, <laughs> over the holidays and it was really fun. We went to Target and my dad bought me a full face makeup and it was an adventure. This L'Oreal Lumi Glow Palette First off, mine was opened when we bought it, so I was like, oh, I really don't want to put that on my face. Then I try to swatch it, and literally nothing comes off when you touch this. Like, nothing. So I was like, oh, great, I'm just going to not, and we're just going to put that in the bad bin and throw it away after I filmed the empties video because I don't like makeup that's been opened. I try really hard not to buy ones that have been opened or clearly, like, touched and played with before, but... <sighs> The other item from that video is this. I actually was excited about this because this was on clearance and I was like, ooh, a cream contour palette for $4.48? How awesome. No, not awesome. I mean, I should have known because it was on clearance, but also NYX is great. I like a lot of their stuff and I really like their contour stick. But this was the same thing. Like this was, this was really patchy. You guys can watch the video and you can see me trying to apply it like I really I had to just basically try and like fix everything the highlighter is not very highlighty like it's really hard to get product out of here um, but if you want I, I mean they might not even sell this anymore because it was on clearance but if you want something that is really affordable and a cream palette it, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever tried but again it was one of those things where it's like this is way too much work when I have like my very favorite Huda bronzer and other products that I could just do faster and I like the outcome better. So yeah, that's the story on that one. Okay, <laughs> do you guys ever like go through your lip stash? The thing that even all people who don't love beauty have is lip products. Like even if you don't really do your makeup, I know you got some lipsticks and lip glosses that you got a little stash of. So. I feel like most people can relate to this one. But do you ever go in your collection and you're like, oh yeah, I haven't used this lip in a while. Like, let me pull that out. Let me, let me use that. It was such a pretty color. And then you smell it and you're like, oh my, how long has that been in there? <laughs> that happened with all of these. So 
If you guys have ever tried these, these are so good. These are the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquers. I have three shades. I guess I should say had. <laughs> this one was my favorite in Charmer. If you're gonna get one, get this one. Um, but I also liked Too Cute, which is like a little more pinky. And then this one, which is classic. It's like a really bright red, really pretty. These are so cool. It's like a liquid lip, but it always stays glossy, but it somehow never leaves your lips. I, I don't know. I love these, but I went to use Charmer because I was like, oh, I know, I love that. Like, that one is so good. And I smelt it, and I was like, oh, something's gone very wrong inside that tube. So I did not put it on. And then I was like, oh, wait. I know I got these, like, months before I got those. So... These had to go as well, but I loved these specifically in combination with each other. And I'm pretty sure they're still selling these. These are the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Creams. I have the shades Fresh Petal, which is the more peachy one, and then Peony Buff, which is a little more of a deeper pink. And I would just like, I would put on the deeper pink one first and then put this like in the center of my lips. And it's just such a good combo. They are plumping, but like not very um, intense. It's like a very subtle minty, which is like my favorite kind of plumping gloss. These are awesome. And genuinely, I want to get more of these because I really like them. But yeah, that was the same thing where I was like, oh, if those smell, like I don't even want to open up those tubes because they're like, Thing awful and this one I was kind of surprised by I was like this one is not that old but it smells foul like it smells bad this is by flower beauty this is their mix and matte lip duo in the shade melon kiss so it's really cool I really like these I loved this would highly recommend it's got a cream lipstick on one side this is like such a pretty like peachy shade and then on the other side it's a little metallic like lip topper and this is so pretty so I wouldn't put this all over the lips but I would just like dab it in the center that side doesn't smell weird but the lipstick smells bad like no so we're not doing that <laughs> and then the last little lip product I think in here is this one by elf this is like a purple lip gloss and I got it in a kit which is fine like I didn't just buy this but I'm like I would I just don't see a time where I'm going to be using this dark of a purple on my lips because if it's this dark, I don't want it in a gloss. Like, I don't want it, like, sliding around my face. So, I just decided to remove it from my collection before I found it, like, six years in the future and had to go through the process of finding out that it smells disgusting and throw it out, you know, the whole thing. You guys, I'm not kidding you when I say, like, this box was full. I would say we're about halfway through at this point. Let's talk about some things that I just did not like. Let's do a little like foundation section. <sighs> Guys, how pretty is this? Like I wanted to like this specifically because, hello, this is my aesthetic. Matte, baby blush pink, and rose gold. Are you kidding me? I did a video where I tried out a full face of Winky Lux because they had just come to Target and I tried all their stuff. I love a lot of it and I still use a lot of it. This I had to get rid of once I tried it again because it is so strongly scented. Like, I just got it on my nose. It's called the White Tea Tinted Veil. I guess it's supposed to smell like white tea. It is like, kind of smells like Clorox wipes mixed with like a floral scent. And it, it is so strong and does not go away. Like, I, you know when you're wearing like sunscreen or something and you kind of like move your face and you get a whiff of it? I was getting that with this hours. Like, I'm talking like five, six hours after I applied it. When it's like, you can't even see the foundation on my face anymore. It's all like gone away. But I can still freaking smell it. I can't handle that. So, I, ugh, ugh, it had to go. It's not also like not that great of coverage like it's nothing special as far as like a tinted moisturizer it didn't make my skin look amazing so i was not willing to put up with the scent if you are nose blind or you really like the scent maybe you will like it because it's not a bad formula but i cannot get past the scent 
let's talk about a bad formula. <laughs> this is the Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I also did a video on this and I think I ended the video by saying like I really wanted to like all this and I just didn't and that's how I felt about this. I And I've tried it again because Google made me use it in my random numbers video and uh, uh, it like doesn't, it's like really patchy and like the pigment kind of like sticks in weird places and this was like one of the lightest shades I'm pretty sure and it is not very light. Common problem with tinted moisturizers and stuff like that, but I don't really have patience for it. It's like, come on. I don't want to put on a tinted moisturizer and look like an Oompa Loompa. Okay, this is something that I did like for a bit, and then I kind of had a 180 because I was like, wait a second. This is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer with Jojoba Oil. It looks really dark in the tube, but when you apply it, it's gorgeous. Like. I really liked this, but it also started breaking me out. I was getting like little breakouts basically where I contour and I'm like, I never break out there. Like that never happened. So I knew it was from this. I was sad. I think it's the amount of jojoba oil. I just, I just like don't normally put a lot of product in this area. So I think adding something that's like thick, like a cream and with heavy oil in it kind of was just too much which i'm surprised because i know my skin does like jojoba oil but i don't know i guess this was too much oh yeah i had one more foundation i was going to talk about <sighs> this is the milani screen queen foundation and literally this just like does nothing like and the first time i tried it i was like uh, not seeing much and then i was like okay i'm gonna give this foundation another try because after my first impression to be honest i was just not interested in trying it again but i was like i'll give it another go i had the same reaction i put it on i'm like this isn't doing anything for my skin where it is on my skin it's streaking and i just like ugh, it's just not worth it you know where you're just like, I don't really want to make this work when I have other options that I know do work. So if you want a very, very, very subtle foundation, you might really like this. <sighs> oh, okay. This is another product that's just like very old, <laughs> but this one's cool and I did really like it. This you are only supposed to have for six months and I was like, oh, six months? Okay. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So this is like, if you use, if you watch YouTube videos, like you, if you have for a while, this is the powder that like basically like turns to water somehow. And it was like one of the first ones to have this like mesh thing. I don't know. It's just very cool. So when you like actually apply it to your skin, mine's kind of old, so I don't think it works very well anymore. But like, it's super finely milled. Let me show you guys. It used to feel, it's still really soft, but it used to feel literally like wet and cold on your skin and it was super cool. Um, but yeah, once I saw that you're only supposed to have it for six months, I was like, oh, that's very expired. <laughs> and cause it's kind of a different technology, I was like, maybe something happens after six months. Like what happened? Because like it doesn't feel like it used to anymore. And so I didn't really want to mess with it anymore. So it's time to get rid of it. Oh, I forgot about this. I don't even know how this came into my possession. I think maybe it was from my dad video. Uh, this liner, oh yeah, it's got like a coal liner on one side and then the felt tip and the freaking felt tip dried out in one video. Like I didn't even finish the one time use and it was already getting patchy and weird. So stay away from this it's cool to have both the coal and the liquid liner but like don't use that one <laughs> okay so this is from clinique this is their moisture surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator if you've been around my social medias for a while i really really liked this i've used it for years and years and years and had no problems but I, I just kind of was feeling like my skin was kind of over it. Um, it wasn't giving me the same results. I think over time your skin just kind of changes on what it needs and what it likes. And this isn't bad by any means, but I really was just ready for a change. So 
used this whole one up and now I'm loving my Tula skincare products. But if you want something that doesn't have a scent, like it's great for sensitive skin, acne prone skin, but is also hydrating, you're going to love this. Also, it's a gel. It's like a gel formula. So it's not... I get, I get really weary of putting thick creams on my face. My face just does not like that. So this is super hydrating and moisturizing, but it's not a thick cream. I really like that. And I do still have another jar that's kind of like, this is basically like my fail safe moisturizer. Like if anything starts going weird, I just know I can always go back to this and my skin will, will tolerate it. <laughs> Um, oh, this is something that I love, but it was getting really old, so I had to get rid of it. Oh, y'all. You guys have probably heard other people talk about this, but this is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I It might actually be pronounced Boom Boom Cream. I'm not sure. It smells so good. It's like a very thick, moisturizing body butter, but it doesn't leave you greasy. It does have, I feel like, just like a little bit of shimmer in there. It just makes you look really good. And essentially, it's supposed to kind of like tighten and smooth your skin. So I love using this after the shower to like moisturize my legs. Ooh, it's getting like itchy. Anyway, I loved using this after the shower to moisturize. But yeah, it started to smell a little funky. I probably had this for like a couple years. And this is just a sample size, but I just don't. I just don't use like that much moisturizer ever so it's hard for me to go through but I do really like this and I would totally get a new one okay <laughs> these are kind of funny <laughs> these I got from my old job um, I used to work in like lifestyle content production and so like brands would send things and they did like a day where they were just like, okay, we have all this stuff that like writers didn't use or like we just had so much extra So take whatever you want. So obviously when I saw makeup I took one of everything because I was like, I don't know. It's free makeup. I got to try So these two this is a blush and a bronzer from NYX. These are the ombre blushes and the ombre. Oh This is technically a blush as well basically I tried these and I just uh, First off, I never wear blushes this color. This didn't really work for me as bronzer. I, uh, it was just never right. Um, and I also don't know how old these are. Like, I don't know how long they had them because I felt like I had not seen them, but like, I don't think that they're new, so. Some more things. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter and I wanted to like this, but this is just not a great color match for me. This is this peach and this champagne are actually much darker on the skin than they even like are picking up right now on camera. So it just wasn't even usable for my face. It just totally stood out, looked like a weird stripe of like shimmery tan, and it is just not good. So this would totally work for someone else, but it was really hard to color match. And the peach side was way too shimmery to be a blush, so that kind of stunk. This one was another one that I was like, oh yeah, I really liked this. And then by the end of the day, I was like, no, I do not. <laughs> this is the Pixie by Petra Hazelnut Haze Eye Effect Palette. Oh yeah, I got it because it was called Hazelnut Haze and I love hazelnut. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a unique palette. There's some interesting colors, but everything just kind of got muddy and blended together. And I don't particularly like that. Now, if you want... Just like soft, subtle, shimmery shades that are very neutral toned. You may very well like this palette because it did last all day. Everything does blend together so you're not going to have any harsh lines. So I think this is for a very, it's for a specific type of makeup lover. But I, it was not for me. This powder is something that I've had forever. And I'm like, I don't even know when I acquired this powder. And I, I don't use this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. A lot of people love the Maybelline set, uh, Fit Me powders, but it's just not my favorite. Um, yeah, like literally I don't even know how long I've had this. I could have had this for the last like seven years. I don't know. Okay, we have two bronzers to talk about. This is the Winky Lux bronzer, and uh, this is not by any means a bad bronzer. I'm just going to give this to someone else because it didn't stand out 
out to me compared to my other bronzers like I just knew I was just not reaching for it in my drawer so I'm like I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on to someone else so that they can use it because I'm just not gonna use it and I don't want it to expire so this is not bad it's just not my favorite and it's just gonna find a new loving home Similar to this one from Physicians Formula, this I thought I liked. It's kind of interesting with the different like mosaic tones and like it's got a, fun, a lot of fun shades in here. But it, every time I applied it, it was just like a little patchy. Like I was like, do I like this? Do I not like this? And finally, like after the fifth or sixth time, I was like, I don't like this. It's too... It was too pigmented in a way that you didn't want it to be and then it would be patchy in other places and just like the combo wasn't great but I think that some people may like this. I don't know. I think this one is another one that's just going to go find a new home because I just know that I'm not going to be using this one. Okay, we need to wrap this up because my camera is going to die. Couple concealers. This one I think just did not do enough for me. This is the Physicians Formula Natural Defense. This Neutrogena one is, <laughs> a lot of this stuff is from my dad video because he just didn't pay attention to the shades. Like, does this look like my, this could be a contour stick on me. Maybe I should try it like that. And then I was loving this NYX Born to Glow and then I realized it was breaking me out. So, yeah, had to go. A couple other primers. This flower one is empty. I really liked this. It was really beautiful. It was an illuminating primer. Highly recommend. And this Winky Lux one, I thought I liked and I used it again. And it just, I just didn't like it very much. It just did not compare to my Tarte or my Tatcha primer. And it, it just kind of let the makeup sit weird. It just didn't sink in. It was, I don't know, not my favorite. So. Unfortunately, this one had to go as well. A couple mascaras. This one by Rodeal did nothing for me, like just nothing. And then this Superstar Mascara, it's not the worst, but similar, just didn't do enough for me. I'm very picky about lashes. I have baby lashes, so I need Thick Boy mascaras, and these are not Thick Boy. Just like that, y'all, that's everything. I'm exhausted. That was a long time sitting and talking about random makeup products. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a little bit different, but I really like watching these because like I said earlier, you just get a better idea of what people really think. It's not a first impression. A lot of these products I've used up, even three or four full sizes of each product or I've given them multiple tries and then decided like, no, these do not work. So they're more fully formed opinions on products and that's why I think they're, I thought it'd be good to put out there because I do a lot of first impressions. So I wanted to give you something a little more long-term. Like I said in the beginning of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe because if you are subscribed, you'll have a chance to win the massive giveaway that I'm doing once we hit 5,000 subscribers. So go subscribe. And yeah, that's it for me. I will see you guys again very, very soon.